Have you heard about the flat earth theory? As the name suggests, some people believe that the earth is not a sphere. They're almost convinced that our planet is flat. This isn't a new concept. The flat earth theory has been one of the most debated topics in the human history. The concept is archaic and has been scientifically debunked. Philosophers including Plato and Aristotle provided strong evidence that the earth is spherical. Today of course we have enough and more proof which shows that our earth is not flat. But some people just refuse to believe it. In 2017 American rapper BOB took it to another level. He started a crowdfunding campaign. He wanted to raise money for a satellite to seek evidence that our earth is flat. We don't know if he raised any money, but we do know that he isn't alone to have such strong beliefs about something that isn't even true. People still hold seminars and conferences to discuss the flat earth theory. Science and basic understanding of physics go out of the window. If you think this is bizarre, let's tell you about the climate deniers. It's now common knowledge that the climate crisis has been set in motion. It's affecting all of us, but many people believe otherwise. Climate deniers are individuals who challenge the scientific proof of climate change. They disagree with the mainstream scientific view. They don't believe that climate change is happening. They also don't accept that human activity is driving the crisis. You could use anything from science to research to data, but climate skeptics don't budge. They won't just not believe science, but they also question the credibility of the research. We'll come back to this, but first let's tell you who these people are. Climate deniers are not nameless and faceless people. In fact, many of them, much like the flat earth theorist BOB, have a strong fan following. And the most famous one is Thank you very much. You guessed it right. Former US President Donald Trump Trump has called climate change mythical, non-existence, and an expensive hoax. But then he also called it a serious subject and something that's very important to him. Oh, I'm a big believer in uh, the environment. Don't ask us to explain what he means. To hazard a guess, maybe Trump is on the fence about climate change. In 2012, Trump said that climate change was created by and for the Chinese in order to make US manufacturing non-competitive. Later, he passed it off as a joke. But nobody laughed. Trump also took pot shots at scientists for rebranding global warming as climate change, because apparently the narrative wasn't working anymore. Donald Trump probably doesn't understand climate change. In fact, during his term as president, the Trump administration scaled back measures to fight the crisis, a classic head in the sand move. His fellow Republican Sarah Palin has similar feelings. In fact, Palin feels so strongly against climate change that she makes Trump look good. In 2014, she said and I quote, "Climate change is to this century what eugenics was to the last century. It's hysteria and a lot of it is junk science." Vivek Ramaswamy, a presidential hopeful from the Republican Party, also calls the climate crisis a hoax. His climate skepticism was on display during the first Republican debate. He has called out scientists for sounding a global alarm against climate change. Senator James Inhofe is perhaps one of the most well-known climate deniers in the US Congress. In 2015, he brought a snowball to the Senate to make his point. He seemed proud of his presentation, but he failed to understand the lesson that it's usually taught in the 5th grade. There's a difference between weather and climate. We could go on with names, but you get the point. Many prominent people who are in positions of power deny the climate crisis. But what's the reason behind their denial? There are a number of factors at play here, like psychology, self-interest and political leanings. Let's start with psychology. The reality of climate change is too big to believe. There's no doubt that human-related activities have triggered the climate crisis. This crisis has the potential to afflict unimaginable amount of suffering on the human race at some point. The climate crisis can only be mitigated by rapid and consolidated action. The idea that humans have unleashed something that they don't fully understand themselves is a difficult pill to swallow. The scattered nature of available data adds to the skepticism. Over the course of decades, several organizations have filed reports to make sense of the climate crisis. 
efforts have been made to raise awareness, but we can never truly figure out the extent of the damage that we have caused to the planet. We understand how we got to this point, but we don't know where we go from here. This is where self-interest kicks in. Large organizations have spent decades focusing on their profitability. Vested interests of the fossil fuel companies have made them directly responsible for the ongoing crisis. These companies and politicians who pour money into them would resort to every trick in the book to maintain the status quo. In fact, they would promote climate denialism and spread misinformation. All of this to make sure that their pockets run deep. Even if the profit comes at the loss of climate. The best way to maintain the status quo is to not fund research and question the credibility of others. Feed people's curiosity with conspiracy theories. There's a conspiracy theory for every climate-related problem. The most famous one is this. Climate change is natural. This is a very smart way to peddle misinformation. Don't deny it, just normalize it. The theory argues that there were higher levels of carbon dioxide even before humans existed. Another theory says that the government uses the climate crisis as an excuse to get more tax. Conspiracy theories are not just believable, they are easier to understand than the climate crisis itself. They are carefully crafted and smartly worded. They can make you question your intellectual abilities. In the age of social media, it's easy to fall into the trap of these theories. We saw this playing out during the COVID-19 pandemic and the 2020 US presidential election. So what can we do differently? It's very important to ask questions and not fall for inconsistent pieces of information. Use your logical reasoning and check facts. Many conspiracy theorists say that humans never made it to the moon and the Holocaust didn't happen. The internet is filled with such brazen and irresponsible reports. At a time like this, use your discretion. Educate yourself about the climate crisis. Read about it, talk about it, and do not think of it as a distant reality. Climate deniers are willingly ignoring the crisis. But when you understand it, verify it and still choose to downplay it, it makes you a partner in crime.